Oh my god, that smells so good. Dandelions are one of the most underrated spring flowers. Not only are they the first resource for insects during springtime, but they are also entirely edible, from their flowers to their roots. Dandelions are used in various dishes and drinks, from making wine to serving as a coffee substitute. They are also used in making dyes and body care items. I'm particularly drawn to flowers, so all my recipes use dandelion petals. The best time to gather dandelions is during sunny daytime hours, when they are open and dry. Dandelions grow almost everywhere, but be sure to gather them away from busy roads and be mindful of your surroundings and the insects that rely on them. Once I have gathered enough dandelions, I let them sit outside for a bit to give insects an opportunity to leave. If you want to rinse them, make sure to dry the flowers afterward. I usually don't rinse them since I gather from clean areas and I want to keep the pollen on my petals. Next, I remove petals from stems by cutting them off. Don't worry too much about the green parts, <laughs> while they can give the tea a slightly bitter taste, a little bit is okay. This year my goal is to build a home herbal apothecary, so I have been gathering different plants to make my own oils, tea blends, body care items and more. With this video I want to inspire you to go outdoors, explore your backyard and get creative. Feel free to swap out dandelion petals for any other seasonal flower. More about this later. Once I'm done, I leave some of the petals to dry for other projects, while some I use right away to make floral syrup. If you like the taste of honey, you will love the syrup too, because this is exactly how it tastes. A mild combination of honey and dandelion mixed with lemon is the perfect ingredient for a refreshing drink. Feel free to swap dandelions out for something else or seasonal. Lilacs work well, as well as fireweed. For ingredients, I'm using a liter of petals and a liter of water and a little lemon. Combine the dandelion petals and water in a pot, bring to a boil, then reduce to low heat and simmer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes turn off the heat and let the mixture sit in a warm place for about 5 hours. I usually let it cool down naturally on my induction cooktop. Strain the petals using a muslin, cheesecloth or fine mesh sieve. From root to flower, dandelions are highly nutritious plants, loaded with vitamins, minerals, fiber and high levels of antioxidants. They may help fight inflammation, improve liver function, support healthy digestion, boost immune health and provide beneficial skincare treatment. Heat the syrup once again, add honey or sugar, boil it on low heat until honey is melted and you are satisfied with the sweetness.
voila, your syrup is ready. Store it in sterilized bottles or jars and keep them in a cool place. For lemonade, mix a small amount of syrup with sparkling water, then decorate with edible flowers or lemon slices and enjoy! Dandelion oil is absolutely beautiful and very easy to make, though the cold infusion method does take some time. Simply fill a clean jar with slightly dried dandelion petals. Pour oil over the petals until they are fully submerged. Here you can use quality olive oil or any other oil, depending on your intended use. Label the jar with the name and date and store it at the room temperature in a dark place, shaking it every other day. Let the mixture infuse for a couple of weeks, allowing the oil to absorb the beneficial properties of dandelions. After the infusion period, strain the petals from the oil and store it in a clean container. Use this dandelion oil for skin care, massage or any other purpose you prefer. In my case, I'm using it for my dandelion salve. That smells absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, this is easy. Use fresh or dried petals alone or mix with other herbs. This floral tea is mild and refreshing, perfect for a little break. I'm using my dandelion infused oil for dandelion sal, which leaves the skin incredibly soft and nourished, and it smells heavenly. Ingredients you need dandelion infused oil, beeswax and shea butter. These components are easily found everywhere. Just make sure to do the research and learn which ones are the most suitable for you. I like to use the water bath method to gently warm the dandelion infused oil on low heat. Once it's warm, I add beeswax and stir until completely melted. After that, I add shea butter and stir until fully incorporated. Here, be careful not to let any water spill into the mixture as it may ruin it. 
Feel free to tweak the recipe and add essential oils, but once again make sure they are top quality and you are following the general instruction how much essential oil is suggested to use for different products. When the mixture is fully melted, pour it into sterilized containers. I use small lip balm containers as I didn't have the bigger ones, but it turned out that they are perfect for carrying with me. This way I can use the salve whenever I feel dryness on my hands or even lips. Dandelion flowers have pain relieving and anti-inflammatory properties, making this salve excellent for shooting ages and pains. I found that it's particularly effective for my dry hands and legs, plus it makes a perfect gift. Oh my god, that smells so good! Amazing! I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. It's a very good salve. And it smells so good and my hands feel really soft and moisturized. I'm in love! That, that's something that I truly needed into my life and I had no clue that I can do it myself. I have literally tested million hand creams and searched for years for the perfect one, but I think I found it. This is the perfect one. Happy creating! Let me know how these recipes turned out.